really pleased. And, uh, you know, we just got to fill our cups back up and get ready to suit up and go play against a really, really good Sacramento Kings team. When you guys have guys in the lineup, out the lineup, how is this team maintaining this focus, maintaining this poise to win these games? Like I said, man, we, we – uh, my coaching staff, you know, my hat's off to them. I love them to death. Helps me sleep like a baby at night. Um, I'm knowing that, you know, they're putting in that work. We don't get to practice a whole lot. But we do do vitamins. We do combo vitamins. They watch film. They lead group film sessions, um, offensive and defensive film sessions, as well as myself, obviously. But uh, they make sure our guys stay, you know, we have a stay-ready group that low, no-minute guys play pickup and, and make sure we keep their time and keep their rhythm. Obviously, our two-way guys and Max, they get to go down to uh, the South Bay team and get real game reps in at that level. Uh, but at the end of the day, our coaches, man, they bust their behinds and make sure our guys stay ready. You know, guys such as Kendrick Nunn, you know, hadn't really gotten big minutes, but when called upon, when necessary, you come in aggressive, ready to play. And uh, same with Max. Um, so it's great. It's great, you know, just knowing that preparation, you know, leads to opportunity. And uh, when those two meet, you know, usually it's successful. It's a, it's a successful ending. So um, shout out to my coaches and the players, obviously, for staying ready, being professional. Um, guys who have been in it and not really gotten much minutes, if any minutes at all, just not hanging their heads, you know, not being a source of bad energy, you know, guys being like K-9, just being a pro through and through, getting his work in, double time even, um, staying engaged, staying locked in, supporting his teammates. And when the spirit is right, the body usually follows. Uh, Darvin, you used the words running habits uh, more times than I really care to count. But in terms of tempo from the beginning of the season to, to a game like tonight where I think you guys had 17 fast break points the first 14 minutes, how have you seen the group evolve, and what role um, do do Russ and and LeBron, who obviously were, you know, going lightning fast off the of defensive rebounds today? What role have they played in getting the team to to shift there? I mean, just their willingness. Like, first of all, we have multiple guys that can get a defensive rebound and start to break themselves. Um, that totally helps your pace, and when you the piggyback off of that, and the next layer of that is those guys getting a defensive rebound couple dribbles and kicking it ahead and those early attacks through the elbow. Um, our guys are running because they know they're going to get the ball. Um, and they know those opportunities with those running habits are going to open up lanes. If we, if we stay disciplined, we getting guys to the corner, those lanes between the lane line and sideline, they're going to be open. It's going to be the, the, the little space between the nail and the elbow, those are going to be open. So it's hard for a team to stop the penetration, to get in front of you solid enough to set a uh, – the, the, to take an offensive charge. So um, I just think I attribute it to our guys just being able to get the rebound and push it and, and, and being willing passers to guys that's up the floor ahead of them. Hey, Darvin, given this long winning streak and all these habits that you've talked about, how much in your mind ha does this feel sustainable knowing that AD's you know, still out? for? I, I think it's very sustainable. I think guys knowing that, you know, what AD brought to us, what he brings to us, what he's going to bring to us when he uh, – comes back is is you know is motivating them to step their games up and again like I said we, we they know I'll put anybody out there um, and, and if they're playing the right way they're gonna get you know a, a, some, um, I just think guys are coming together and the, you you seeing guys communicating with one another before I even get to the huddle. You're seeing guys communicating each other as we're walking to the locker room to do pregame or walking into the locker room after postgame. They're not, you know, chatting about what's going on in society. They're chatting about the game, how we can alleviate mistakes, how can we get even better the next time around. So I just think everybody is pitching in, you know, for, for our fallen soldier. And he'll be back in due time, but until then, you know, guys are stepping up and making plays. And then when he comes back and Lonnie comes back and Austin, these different guys, like, it's just going to, Troy, it's going to make us that much more strong and powerful and deep. Darvin, uh, Kendrick w w was obviously someone who entered the season kind of slated to have uh, a certain role. And 
has kind of been in and out of the lineup with his minutes and um, maybe hasn't always had that aggression that you were just talking about. Like, what, what was the key tonight with, with him that you kind of saw click and uh, just how, how important is it for him to have a night like tonight that he can kind of use that momentum moving forward to just see the ball go in the, the hoop as much as it did? You know, he he, he can score at all three levels. And um, I just tell him every time he's coming to the game, be aggressive, be decisive, and be aggressive. And, um, you know, do what you're supposed to do defensively. You know, know your assignments. And he's done that. You know, tonight he had, you know, three def- defensive rebounds, which is great. Um, really got going from, uh, you know, <laughs> all over the place offensively. And that's what he does. And um, just just the way that kid has really stuck to his guns in terms of his preparation, his professionalism, and staying ready, uh, staying locked in with film, uh, you know, one of my coaches, J.D. Dubois, he, he, he watches one-on-one film with him, and he's all, they're always engaged. They have a great rapport, as he does with all our coaches. And just, again, just his spirit, knowing that, you know, just keep working. It's a long NBA season. Your number's going to be called. So when it's called, you, you, you might want you never have to tell a guy like him that. Watching film, seeing how you can get better. And uh, you saw it tonight. Hey, Darvin. Um, Thomas Bryant's had some super efficient offensive games, but he's also had a couple of big blocks or one in each of the past two games. I'm wondering what you've seen from him on that end and and if there have been any adjustments by him or schematic adjustments that you want to point out. I just want Thomas to be his wild, active, crazy self. I, I love that kid. He brings so much energy, chatter. He covers, he cares about his teammates. He cares about trying to get what we're doing right consistently. Um, Great hands. I, again, I got to figure out a way to get him some post touches because he worked so hard on the glass for us. Just got to figure out a way to throw him a couple of bones, you know. Um, but he's he's been a blessing. Like uh, all he's gone through, injury history and whatnot, to see him out there shining like this and just putting together double 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 after double double, uh, big points, big rebounds, blocks, key plays, key fifty fifty balls, uh, just guarding the rim. Um, getting hits, and even though he may not get the rebound in that particular possession, but just putting bodies on bodies, he's been an absolute blessing to us, especially in light of the circumstances surrounding AD. So my hat's off to him, and uh, I expect him to, to remain consistent in those areas and, and, and to come out ready to compete at the highest level every night. Thanks, Coach. Yeah.